Go ahead. You ready? Yep. Hello, gamers. Welcome to Eddie Nasty Gaming. I'm going to show you the rugby craft I've been working on. Yeah. As you can see, it kind of looks like a football field, but I just kind of called it rugby because you have to attack yourself. Or not yourself, but the other players. But anyways, you see there's a little goals and a scoreboard. And then we even got a little scoreboard up there. Hello. Anyways. Here's the little host room. And then this is all done with redstone. So this is a working rugby field. And this is the little ball reset right here. So when you press it. Voila. Your little square ball is out there to go and attack and go score it. And then, once the ball is placed, you see the start to switch. It'll open this door, and then your gates will open. And then basically you just run out and try to grab the ball and just score it while the other players attack you. And then, once it's all done, and then, yeah, you just kind of like close it. And then I got other switches in here, but I'm going to show you that later. Well, here in a little bit. Red versus blue, just like Halo. And then I just kind of show off some wiring so that I've done in here, just for show. It's not a whole lot, but people do like to see it. Anyways, on the red side, because I like the red, the host controls can even be worked over here. Bunches of cake for people to eat. Take a quick nap, spawn area. Yeah, you gotta start this on at night so you can get your spawn area right here but you can see the gates are right here that's what it was talking about and then this is set on a time so you can't just like instantly run out so it's just yeah see both sides open even over there and then you just kinda of run break the sand and then even from right here this little button right here the ball. Now, the scoreboard. This is my favorite part. I like the scoreboard. Once you score it, what's that? That's pretty neat. I like that. Oh, wow. Two Seven points. points. That's cool. Three points. Four, five, six, Seven. Now does anything happen when you score ten? What am I at? Seven? Uh, let's see. Eight, nine, ten. Win! Yeah. Goal! That's cool. That's really cool. Goal! Yeah! Does it do win on both sides? Yeah. Sweet. No. And I'm actually, I'm going to show you even other incredible redstone part with this too from the host control room up here let's say they scored a couple points on that side like that side one and this side scored a couple points like I'll put a couple in there I'll put two two points up here at the host room you'll see the reset buttons so you can play more than one you play more than one game so when someone wins. That's a nice feature. But to reset it, you got to get the score up to 10. Get it up to 10 and then red scoreboard. And you can see two points over there, so go and click it. Click it. And we should be at four. Oops. Yep, four. And then all you do is get it up to ten. So we're at four. Let's do five, six, a seven, eight, nine, and the goal. <laughs> okay, I'll stop.
yep, there we go. Both sides have won, and you're going, okay, now you won, okay. How do we play another game? Well, I got, as soon as I can get past the iron door here, we got resets. We'll reset the red, as you can see. Totally reset. Blue. Reset. Now, I'm going to just show you a couple wirings and then we'll just call it a day. This is just kind of like a little spot I put here for us to kind of see the scoreboard wiring. It's a lot of wiring here. And as you see, it is a lot of wiring. Oh man, it looks like a lot of blood and just that was, that looks like blood but tons of repeaters and wires one piston this is the goal you can see the goal pretty cool and then once the sand drops score score And even if they do just score one more extra point and you forget, at the end, the sand block breaks. So you can't just keep pushing blocks. But to reset it, you have to reset it once or else, as you can see, it, it just kind of like drops all down. All the sand will drop down one level and the sand that was on the bottom level will all break on torches. So if you press it again, the reset button twice, it will put a hole. So then when the team scores, it won't pop up. And I'm just going to show you right here. You can see all that wiring right there, all this wiring right here. It's like, oh man. Yeah, see? Pistons down here. Mm. All this wiring right here. Break that block. Just kind of a couple rooms right here, just to kind of go through. And as you can see, we're up at the front. And that just kind of goes up to the host room. And voila, we got Rugby Craft. You can invite all your friends, come and play. Uh, it is kind of, it is fun to play. I will admit. Uh, it does get a little crazy sometimes because then you're like, well, what kind of difficulty do you set on? Well, do you have to set it on survival? You might lose a couple uh, of your hunger, but I do find that if you put it on hard, it does work. Uh, there is a couple of little lighting I am going to fix on because we did have one skeleton spawn on here. But for Endermen, I can't control that. <laughs> they spawn in here and they just teleport. So it's crazy, yeah. So just follow me on Twitter at Slam Dynasty or Eddie Nasty Gaming, and make sure to subscribe and like this video. Take care.